Hello guys, welcome to PTK. I am going to teach you more features in dictionaries. Loop first function I'm going to teach you now is loop through both keys and value by using the item method. First, let me give you a list. I'm going to keep the same list what we did before as it is it is to the list. So this is the list. So how to use that? It is very simple. So first we should give for because that's for loop then keep x and y then keep in then keep this dictionary and that student keep dot and keep the word items function items and keep parentheses then you a colon then keep print in parentheses and you x and y let us see what does it come Actually, it came name as Kartik, class as 4, number, roll number as 3, section as A. Now, I'm going to teach you the next dictionary length. At the lists and tuples, I said length. In dictionaries, even there is length. Let me show you how it is done. So first we should keep print, then keep length and keep parentheses, then keep the dictionary name that is student of course. If I execute it, it came four because why? Because they have four values and keys because there's a key and value one, two, three, and last of its four. So let me teach you the next one that is adding items. We use append, right? But here we don't do like that. First, we should keep the dictionary name, give you square brackets, keep quotes, and give that, give the key name that's color. Take off from the square bracket and keep equal. Then give whatever I keep red. If I print student, it can name cut class for loan number three, second day, and color red. Let me tell you about removing item. They there are several methods to remove item from a dictionary. So first we are going to learn pop. At least pop was there. So we do it in the same way. But first, you the dictionary name. Can keep pop. Then keep can keep pop. Then give parentheses and give in quotes the key name. So I'm going to keep name. If I execute it, let's see what does happen. In plus four, rule number three. Section A. So, but this name it got deleted. Because remove is for delete function. So let's go to the next one. The pop item. I'll show you how to do it. The pop item method remove the last inserted item. I'm going to show you what does it mean if so i, I kept student so name card the class for row number three but where is section a as i said the pop item method removes the last inserted item that means which is the last it is section a so we use the pop item method for doing this so let me let i'm going to show you the next one that is the delete keyword. The delete keyword removes the item with the specified key name. Let me say you. So, C. 
first we keep delete then keep student as that's the dictionary name keep square bracket keep parentheses and give the key name so i'm going to delete class see what happens name card rule number 3 section a where is class because i give class in the delete function so we it got deleted class we can use this delete the delete key we can also delete the dictionary completely so let me show how to do that so i'm going to show you so i'll show you how does it how we do it first we keep delete then keep the student and if you want to delete we should do delete student because we are only deleting that now let me print student and let's see what does happen but why it came wrong say me if you don't let me say it it came because we deleted student it came from the it came out from the computer's memory so we use so it came an error because it doesn't know so let me tell you instead of using clear instead of using delete i mean we use the clear function let me show you first keep student that's the dictionary name keep dot and keep clear that is c l e a r then keep parentheses there now afterwards let me print student and see what does it happen it came that why because he cleared all the elements so we use clear function to do this if we use delete we should keep on giving the first keep delete the dictionary name then give square bracket and give parent i mean quotes and keep on keep on giving till it's done so we use the clear function to make it faster so now i'm going to tell you what is an nested dictionary if you know if you don't know i'm going to show you a nested dictionary is like this in a dictionary there'll be a dictionary for my family is a dictionary then keep equal then keep curly brackets then keep enter it comes we should keep quotes and you i kept as child one keep this colon and keep the curly bracket and keep enter and let it give the first key name that's name then keep colon and keep the i'm going to keep the value card keep the value that's card keep comma then you i'm going to keep your keep quotes and i'm going to fill you and keep parentheses and i'm going to keep I'm going to keep 2011. So, so that child to he do the same way for both. Let me let me execute it. Let me execute it. I. See, so so if I let me print it first, keep print and don't give this child one and child two because it's a next dictionary. So we should give the next dictionary that my family. If I execute the let's see what does happen. Okay, the child one that is the dictionary name name card the year two thousand eleven and child two that's the next dictionary name name note na year two thousand four. Your next dictionary in that dictionary we can give how many we want. 
so let me to do last function in in dictionaries so is the dict constructor it is also possible to use dict constructor to make new dictionary for example so i kept the name as actel axel but we we should keep equal and give this curly bracket but instead of doing that we keep equal then q dick that's the dick constructor then you parentheses and you let like i give the key is work and the value of it stitch we should not give quote for this so if you don't understand let me print ask and you'll see we can even do this so i printed ask two times so let me cut it out and let me execute it again work teach correct it's correct language value yes then subject computer so we use the dix contractor to make it more easier to make a dictionary so this is the end of our class so if you like our video please please press the like button and subscribe it now for now bye bye